championship fight between Demetrius Johnson and TJ Dillashaw. Houston, Texas, USA, live from Toyota Center. Good to have you with us tonight. And this building has a lot of history for my man, DC. Pete Gustafson here, Roy Nelson back in the day. We'll see what's in store for these athletes. This arena's been great for the American Kickboxing Academy. King Velasquez will be able to retain his title in this arena, too. And also home to the greatest NBA franchise in history, the Houston Rockets. Tonight, they will go Tonight, the UFC blows the roof off the building. But every night, James Harden and now Russell Westbrook put on a show in this fantastic arena. Spoken like a true Golden State Warriors. Clutch City, baby! Clutch City! Clutch City, baby! Look at you wearing today. We're in a rock. We're in Houston. Beautiful strike. A couple of chins here being tested early. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for TJ Dillashaw. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. What a body kick. Dillashaw circling to his right. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Lands with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. And he landed the right hand there. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting. Good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head to make sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Nice punch there. Beautiful body kick. Oh, big left hand there. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Johnson gets tattooed by that straight punch. Dillashaw's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, straight right up the cut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight ones are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Oh! He's getting lit up right now, Johnson. How about those five Five minutes! minutes. Let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. That's a big strike right there. Nice one, two there. Oh! Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Transition to the judo throw, right into side control, where he will have no shortage of options. A lot of top 
pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Pretty significant wealth to the left side. Lands with the ground and pound here. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous thing. Gillishaw gets back up again. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Blocks the shot. Real nice body kick lands. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Bang, Muay Thai on full display here. Oh! No! Huge right hand! Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Significant body shots here. These are gonna. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's in trouble. He's getting low. Oh! 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 He gets up. The question is for how long? Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC? It's hard to recall. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat streak. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence. Oh! Dude's hurt. Oh! Chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, you've got to admire the urgency. Man, as effective as straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one. Oh, nice scramble kick. by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Leg kick lands flush for Dillashaw. 
Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Nice one, two there. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, look at him. Do you believe it? And that will do it. He's done. He's done. <laughs> I should say so. A tremendous kick to end that fight tonight. Caught his opponent flush. Full force. Full extension, and he had no chance to stay in this fight. Fun was over as soon as that kick made flush contact. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched well. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. Both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. We now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 23 seconds of the third round. We're playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed USC flyweight champion of the world, DJ. So how about this? A new world order at 125 pounds is 